brother designed this idea of an advertisement to call it Working Opticians. And what it was, our whole team, our employees, my, all of us, building an eyeglass frame on a table, and you can see it in, a, in the advertisement, it was just so different. And it was so descriptive of who we were. In the beginning, some of our first editorials that made us so proud is that we had some very iconic people wearing our glasses regularly and being photographed in them. And we realized that they wore them because people didn't know what they were wearing, so it made them feel great in their eyewear as a discoverable product because not everybody can go run out and buy them when you don't have a big initial on the side. We had Cindy Crawford, Claudia Schiffer, Andy Warhol, Brad Pitt, even Bill Gates, Al Pacino. It can go on and on, those type of people. They wore them in movies, outside of movies. They wore them regularly. I have to say humbly that those people really, really helped sell a lot more of our brand because they were just stylish people who were recognized and seen a lot. One of the product designs that we did and placed for a movie that was probably one of the most fun ones was Brad Pitt and Fight Club. Because at that time, the style that we worked on with him was so progressive. It was not like some of the other ones we have, but it was so much fun creating a style that would fit that movie, fit his character. When it was done, and even many years after it was done, is when we really realized how perfect it really was. let us stop. Music has always been part of our lifestyles growing up here in L.A. And in 2000, we decided to conceive, create our own in-house music. One of our goals was to bring to some of the freshest music that you can find. And it was not typically available for people to hear. So we enjoyed really turning people on to new music. Since 2000, we have launched just about one CD every year. After the year 2000, as our 20 year anniversary was approaching, we really wanted to celebrate and give back and do something really different. We came onto our first idea to use the famous Robert Evans, who was known for the Godfather and Rosemary's Baby to produce our own short film that was going to cons or somewhere and we also thought that we would advertise this and put all of our names in for credits even we were even thinking that crazy so that when it was it appeared in Variety magazine people might think and call Robert Evans Robert I, you're doing a new film and we launched it right in the time for the Academy Awards and all these things and it really did come off as some like, wow, there's a new movie coming out called Mind Games. And the movie was a three minute short. And it was so suspenseful that it was just, you wanted to see it after you saw the short. So we continue to have these unexpected sort of highs and, and fun things that make us really continue to believe that we're still doing the right thing. We still realize our vision. And